I'm going to give you a quick video on the Anvil Legacy update. They changed a bit with the Scorpions and Mantises as well, so I'm going to explain it really quickly. So the regular Scorpion still takes one grenade to the back from full HP, but every other Scorpion now takes two grenades to the back from full HP. This is very useful because a lot of Scorpions were getting camoed and snuck up on in the back and they were easily destroyed, and this is a very good fix towards that because Yes, sure, you need to be at full HP for this to be effective, but it is very useful if you've just gotten out of the armory and you're ready to do something with this tank and then all of a sudden someone comes behind you and you're not prepared at all. It's not very fair, but um, this is just a slight benefit to the tanks that is very good for everyone to know about. So you don't have to worry about getting boarded on the back too much because you can just take them out after they get off. However, of course you don't want to get boarded by it because you're going to be near death, you're going to be pretty much a one shot after that fact, but it is still very useful to know nonetheless. Moving on to the front part of the scorpions, they are all still one shot. Every single one of the scorpions are still required one grenade to blow up. It doesn't matter if you have wheelman or not, it is still a one hit grenade to the front. It is only the back part that is counting towards this. But there is also something very interesting to know about the back side of the scorpions. Showing right here, um, the corpse scorpion takes one melee hit plus a grenade to blow up instantly without wheelman. And every other scorpion, including the Oni and Hannibal, takes three melee hits and then a grenade without wheelman to blow up. Moving on to the race really quickly, just want to mention that nothing has changed. They are still required one grenade to the back and front to blow up. However, I have noticed with Wheelman that the Wraith Ultra and the Temple Wraith at full HP require two grenades. And the final update for the Mantis, you no longer can board it from the front in a 180 degree arc in the front. Consider it a half circle in the front of the Mantis, you cannot board it. You, ha you can only board it from the back half of it, so the half circle to the back of the Mantis. Also, I'm going to finish up with the boarding technique to get away safely when you get boarded from a mantis. I'm going to re-explain how to do this for those who are still confused. Basically, when you are boarded and the enemy jumps off, wait until this exact moment when they are done their animation of leaving your mantis, and then you press and hold X and you'll immediately eject. This happens because the enemy is obstructing your exit from your mantis and you're able to leave the vehicle with ease without a problem. So I hope this video helped anyone who did not know about this update. It will be very useful for you in the future. So with that being said, hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you later.